The, the ombudsman, especially on the Ronald Reagan, we have about 3,000 people. Uh, they're that one uh, source of data or that one link uh, from the families to the chain of command uh, to help in all kinds of different areas uh, that the Navy has to offer. So for family support, uh, we absolutely couldn't function if we didn't have ombudsman on board the Ronald Reagan. Uh, every single day they have interaction with families, they communicate with our uh, department heads and department master chiefs to solve complex problems that the families have and uh, our ombudsmen are, are very well trained and certainly have to dedicate uh, a significant amount of their time uh, to the Navy uh, for ver very little uh, resource. So uh, they're, they're absolutely vital. W without them, uh, the families would not get supported properly. Thank you, Master Chief. But, Anything else you'd like to add? Well, I'd just like to thank all the ombudsmen. Uh, I've, I've, I've been a command mass chief now for about 12 years, and it always amazes me to see that somebody will volunteer their time uh, to make sure that families are taken care of. They're just great Americans, and I'd just like to thank every one of them for, for their volunteerism and their service to the country. Well, during our current deployment, um, we are very necessary seeing how our sailors are all gone. And with so many sailors on board, we're able to assist with either information or resources to help the families from ship to shore, com or yeah, to communicate with them because they actually think that ombudsmen are on board the Stennis. So seeing how they find out that we are actually have sailors on board, they're able to relate to us a little bit better, and then we're able to provide them with support, um, such as counseling or anything of that nature. And then we can also communicate with the ship um, while it's out to sea to help communication stay strong between our families and the sailors. I love, I, I wouldn't do this if I didn't love it. That's all I gotta say. The program is amazing, and I would, I would recommend it to anybody. I think probably our biggest job is to help with family readiness. So the more confident the sailors are that their families are safe here and have people to go to in case of emergencies or just stressful times, the better prepared the sailors are to do their job out to sea. Um, as an ombudsman, we are here to not only support them, but support their family members. Um, while they're gone and serving our country, we're here to provide the resources that their family members will need while they're away. Ombudsman are important to me as the commanding officer of Naval Base Kitsap, uh, primarily because their ability to communicate, even in today's world of, uh, of high-speed digital communication, Facebook, Twitter, etc., word of mouth is still the best matter of communication. So not only do our ombudsmen important in, within my own command, but through the ombudsman assemblies, I use the ombudsman network to put out word about what's going on on the base throughout all the various tenants. And on a base like Naval Base Kitsap, where I've got 77 tenant commands who all have subordinate commanders too, that ombudsman network is critical to get the word down to the Navy crews and the families that support them. Well, ombudsmen are important to me specifically as a command mass chief because they provide an invaluable continuity between the senior leadership at the chain of command and the spouses of our sailors. Specifically when we're deployed, it allows the wives, spouses, to have someone they can contact if they have questions about the area, issues that they might be dealing with with their home or their children. Uh, and the uh, ombudsman has direct contact with the senior leadership to help answer the questions of our young sailor spouses, specifically when we're deployed. Thank you very much, Matt. Well, ombudsmen are important to me because they're a vital link between my command and my, my crew's families uh, for a couple of reasons. One, for a lot of family members, they might feel intimidated about approaching somebody like me in uniform and, and bringing up their problems or their concerns or issues that there might be a really simple solution to. And uh, as a fellow family member, my ombudsman is somebody that they can relate to, is somebody that's approachable, that they can, they can go up to and talk to easily and they aren't intimidated by the uniform. And as somebody who's received special training and uh, knows the resources of the area, knows how to get help for whatever problem they might be facing. The other reason that they're really important is uh, 
especially in the submarine force, we'll spend weeks on end in radio silence where we aren't allowed to communicate. We can't transmit anything off the ship. And so during those times, the, our families aren't able to get a hold of us. They can't get answers from us on, hey, what do you want me to do in this situation? And so our ombudsman provides that command representative. She's an official command representative who can provide assistance, uh, lead them to the resources they need and advice that they need on, on what to do to handle difficult situations while we're out at sea and, and we can't be there to, to back them up. Uh, never ceases to amaze me how incredible it is that a group of people uh, who without any kind of pay, without any kind of compensation, volunteer their time and their effort uh, to really help our sailors and their families um, grow and be better um, be better Navy sailors, and uh, I think it's really important that uh, our, our ombudsmen are there so that our sailors uh, know that if there's something going on at home, our ombudsman's there to take care of that for them.